Hey guys, how's it going? Ben here from Udon Classroom and today, woo, we're talking about the history of the Hanmas. And not only that, we're also going to be looking at a special unboxing, okay? This came in the post only yesterday and I'm so excited to open this right now, okay? Try and guess what's in there, put it in the comments below and then we'll have a look later. Whoa, okay, so let's go. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the history of the Hanya, okay? And these are Hanya masks right here. So these are a design that you might have seen before. So for me, the first time I ever came across the Hanya mask was as a kid playing Tekken. And if you all know the character Yoshimitsu, he was famous for kind of wearing a Hanya mask or having a face which is like a Hanya. Um, and that kind of got me into it. I saw it and I thought, wow, that's so unique. I really need to know what this is, learn a bit more about it. So that's where my kind of interest first started with it. But a couple of years ago, I even started a clothing line with a Hanya mask design on the back, because I love it that much. Um, I talked to a friend in Japan, a tattoo designer, who designed me the cool Hanya design, put it on the back of the hoodies, ordered kind of like 200 of those, thought, wow, I'm gonna be rich. I'm a new top fashion designer. And yeah, didn't go that well. Yeah, lost a lot of money on that one, so. And I even liked the design to that extent that I even got some tattoos of those designs. I've got one on my foot and one on my chest. Hang on, can we show, can we show this? Is this? Is this legal? Before we talk a little bit about the history of the Hanya, we're gonna have a look at this special unboxing today, okay? I ordered this a couple of months ago. It's finally arrived. I haven't seen it in person yet, so I'm super excited to show you guys and we can reveal it together, it's going to be exciting, let's get into it. But first, I'm going to need an item to help get this open. And as this is Udon Classroom, we don't just want a kitchen knife, we want a samurai sword. So, I've got something here. This is ancient samurai weapon passed down to me through generations. So, it's a massive sword guys, so let me tell you. <laughs> there we go, great. Alright guys, here we go, so we're going to commence the opening now. Go. Great, perfect. So, let's get into it. Whoa, this is cool. I think here is the stand that it will hang on. Look at this. Ooh, so it's going to be big, guys. It's going to be huge. Can't wait to reveal this now in one second. Oh no! I've had a bit of an issue guys, it looks like one of the horns has come off, which is a nightmare. Let's have a look at this, are you ready? The one horn Hanya mask. Even though it's got one horn, it still looks pretty damn cool. Oh my god, look! I cannot believe it. This has come off. Unbelievable. There we go. Oh my god. That's how it would have looked. No. It still looks good. I'll get that fixed. A bit of super glue. Five minutes later. Wow, super glue is my friend and this has done wonders and it's now fully complete so yes there we go no problems anymore all happy so look at this thing oh my god how cool is that and um, so let me tell you a little bit about this so this is by an artist called matt buckley and it's from a company called edge sculptures so i'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out we've got loads of other designs on there too not just japanese style this is made from marble resin and it looks amazing. Obviously I had a bit of a postage issue, but not to worry, all sorted now. So, now we have the Hanya mask all set up, we can actually sit down and talk about the history of the Hanya. So the Hanya mask is originally used in No, and this is one of the original traditional Japanese theatres. And No was introduced by China to Japan in the late 14th century, so it is pretty old. So the Hanya mask has a twisted and demonic face, which when you look closely, also has a hint of sadness. 
In Japanese folklore, the Hanya is a female demon, which usually began as a human woman. But when this woman was betrayed by her lover, it twisted her and turned her into a crazy demonic monster. Now when the mask is held straight, it looks angry, but when it's tilted down a little bit, it looks rather sad. So when an actor in these theatre shows looks at the audience, it will look as if the Hanya is angry and the character is angry. However, when they look down into the audience, the light that reflects there will make it look as if um, she's crying or she's really upset. Now it's usually carved by a single piece of wood and finished off with a very dark coloured paint. Now I picked these two masks up from Asakusa in Japan, just outside the Kaminari Mon, okay, and that's in Tokyo. And this was from a specialist kind of mask dealer. It was almost like a little street stall. Um, but really, really cool players had loads of other masks like Kitsune masks, Saru masks, everything Japanese basically in terms of the culture, the history. And these masks cost around £30 each, which is, you know, what, $50, something like that. And yeah, perfect use for decoration. So if you're ever in Tokyo, head down to Asakusa, Kaminari Mon, and check these guys out because they're sick. So there are three main masks expressing the female emotion. The first mask expresses jealousy. The second mask expresses halfway to complete insanity. <laughs> and the third mask, and the saddest expression, shows a woman who's gone completely insane and turned fully into a demon. <laughs> Interestingly, the word Hanya means wisdom in Buddhism. Now there are several explanations for this. Uh, one of them being that it takes wisdom to carve a Hanya mask. But the most plausible explanation is that their origin is traced back to Hanyabo. And this is the name of the mask carver that lived in the late 15th or early 16th century. And one last additional point on the Hanya mask is that although it has an extremely frightening appearance, in Japan it's also used as a good luck symbol to ward off evil spirits. Hey guys, so that was it for today's history lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, although it was brief. I'm sure there's a lot more information out there that you can go and find yourself. So if you do find something interesting that I haven't mentioned, be sure to let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear about that. And again, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate a little like, a little comment, a little cheeky subscribe. <laughs> That'd be great. All right, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you next week. Adio. Nihongo benkyou shimashou. Udon, udon, udon. Udon kyoushite yokuso. Hajimeru zo.